Hey you guys, so this is gonna be a fairly different video for me um, because I'm gonna be trying out combinations for an upcoming wash and go. Now girl, I just did a hard look at myself in the camera. <laughs> You're gonna have to excuse what's going on with my appearance. It's been a very uh, busy week for us and this was a non-scheduled video. I'm just turning on the camera and we're gonna make it happen. I did a light beat so that that can distract you from everything else that's going on. So you guys, um, I have in front of me about 10 different stylers and leave-in conditioners and we're gonna be doing a palm test with Echo Styler Gel. And I'm gonna say a few things before we get into this. Now, I know other YouTubers have done this particular type of test, pretty witty, um, as most of you guys know, which I absolutely love the fact that she's done that. And she has done this particular, particular, excuse me, um, test for Echo Styler Gel and also for Wet Line Extreme Gel, the clear and blue. For me personally, I find that I have gotten the best wash and go, not with Echo Styler Gel, but with I see Fantasia gel along with Can2, but that's before Can2 started messing up. Can2 is just, we're gonna get to her in a minute. But um, we all know by now that if you get a technique down, you can use just about any product. However, with a wash and go, there's a lot of other things involved because your texture, of course, plays a big part of it. And I find that since I have multiple texture textures, which most of us do, my density is off the chain. I have to be very careful not being heavy handed so I don't get build up. And it helps when I do my wash and go in the shower. All right, you guys, so we have a full jar of Echo Styler Gel. And we're gonna start off with the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. Um, and I know that's a Justin. I feel like this is a slept on product. I really do. I know some of you guys said it didn't work for you. I'm sorry, girl, but I do. I feel like it's a slept on product. It's very creamy. Has a, to me, it's, it's like a shea butter. Yep, shea butter butter I like it okay we're gonna look at that this is my palms let's add a little bit more see if it does anything yes no prop blends very very well okay I hope I have enough to do my hair look girl you got more than enough all right y'all so next up we have TGIN's buttercream daily moisturizer now I also have her um, twist and define cream but since this is a leave-in conditioner we're gonna try it with this instead okay let's see maybe it'll be better if I do it on my palm so y'all can see it Look at that. Look at that. Look how horrible that is. Wow. I was not expecting that. Not only did it, <laughs> it also hardened. So we're gonna put, mm, moving on. We're gonna save can too for last because I have, I'm suspect. All right, now we have As I Am Long and Lux Grow Yogurt which I had a problem with her recently, but that's in a video coming up in a, in a bit here. <clears throat> so, okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I would be careful with this one. Hmm. Let's just put you in the middle. And y'all, I have a towel on my lap to make sure that I get everything off. Now we're gonna try Curl Defining Cream Shea Moisture. I'm excited about this because um, for the longest, for my wash and go, so those of you who don't know, I've been natural this year, it will be 10 years. I'm gonna do a little series, um, by the way, coming up in April. So when I went natural, I shaved my head. Yeah, I had a shaving ball head, girl. Here I come. Um, no reason, but yeah, I shaved my head. And so for the longest, I would use Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture, along with Cantu. I'm sorry, along with the Echo Styler banging curls. All right, let's see what this does. Oh. Hmm. Why is it doing this? Well, maybe I need some more gel. It's just sitting there. 
this is what's happening. It's not smoothing in or anything. I don't know. I'm gonna do it again, y'all. I'm paranoid. I'm gonna do it again with gel on and just a little bit of the, cause this stuff is thick. No, that is a hard no. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Moving on. Next up we have Olive Oil ORS Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. I don't use this as much. I don't even, yeah, I think I've used this like never cause it's full. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and see. Oh, not bad. If you do it a little bit more, it, yeah, this isn't bad. I will be careful, but that's not bad. Look at that. Not bad at all. You pass. Go ahead to the line. <laughs> Melanin Twist Elongating Style Cream. She may be okay. Oh. Ooh. But not for a wash. Ooh, look at that. Not for a wash and go. Textured ID Styling Cream. Hmm, y'all, this product, hmm, hmm. I know some people, hmm. This product is okay with, this This styling cream, and this is sold exclusively at Sally's, is okay with other, pro, with other products within the line. Um, I've had it for a while. It's a jelly type consistency, and but we shall see how it pairs with, not bad actually, y'all. Look at that. I think if you worked it, <laughs> not bad, look at that. Work it in some more and see this was a surprise for me, okay. We have Misha's Hydrate and Twisting Butter. Absolutely love this styler. Oh, oh me, oh no girl, no girl, oh no, 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 no. No, I hope this is showing up y'all, cause I know it's, it keeps wanting to focus on my face, um, face identification on. Let's just go ahead and do can too. I mean, you right here, you know. Y'all can too, it's just, I don't know. Creamy, we'll see. No, look at that. Oh, just this is disrespectful. Look at that. I know it's, it's still zooming in on my face, but you can see it even without it zooming in. Wow, that just I want some yogurt now. That's how bad that looks. Last but not least, we have the Miel Leave In Pomegranate and Honey. This is one of my favorite leave in, so you better, you better come through. It's doing something, but it's not, it's not bad. You see how it's doing something, so you be careful, but it's not bad. I, I would say this is a yes. I mean, let me just, yeah. She's okay, honestly, y'all. Look at it, it's okay. Just gotta blend it in more. Oh, Lord, you, you came through, girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's start with the worst first. Absolutely not, cannot, will not be able to pair well with. We have Cantu Shea Leave-In Conditioner. Again, these are all no's. No to this one. Mish. Melanin. Great for, I will say this. This is great for pairing it up with that. I think would be great for braid outs, twist outs being very mindful of how much gel you use. Honestly, with all of these, but yeah, no. It's a no. TGIN, girl, you, you'll know too. Um, maybe, but be careful, would have to be the As I Am Long and Lux. Next up, we have the Melanin Leave-In Conditioner. It's an absolute yes, but maybe, yeah. Absolute yes, definitely works well. Texture ID Styling Cream. ORS, I was surprised by you, girl, you, yeah. ORS, or Moisturizing. And then we have a Talia Wajid Curling Curl Cream. Now, what I will be using, I'm very surprised. This was actually one of the best ones. 
Besides the texture ID, but I don't have a lot. I'm going to have to go with the ORS Olive Oil Replenishing. And this is, this again, this is one of those to where you just don't know. Out of all of these products, there are some other products here that have better ingredients overall. Um, but this is going to have to be, it's going to be my combination. Especially since it's cooler now, I need a little bit thicker leave-in. So, yo, we're going to do this. So, towards the end of this video, you're going to see the results of this combination, okay? All right, you guys. So, I am co-washing my hair with Suave's Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner. This is from that previous video I shared with you guys. So, um, I also added some apple cider vinegar to my scalp. And so, my hair is feeling really great after the apple cider vinegar rinse and the um, conditioner that right there was the ORS leave-in conditioner and then I'm going in with the Echo Salad Gel and small sections at least for me I'm gonna be doing a um, combination of raking and shingling and this took me a while y'all I will say it took me a while and then um, next up you're gonna see clips of my hair um, that same day with it soaking wet and then the next day actually three days later with it dry okay Bonus, this is a wash and go, dry wash and go, meaning I did it outside of the shower using TGIN Twist and Define Cream and the Gold Echo Styler. Bomb, bomb together. Again, I did this outside of the shower, taking my time, wet my hair, doing the Twist and Define Cream, applying the gel. I take the blow dryer to it, a pick, because I'm looking for big hair. <laughs> Bigger. We are using a pick to add volume but then I'm gonna add some bobby pins to secure my hair down in the front because I don't like my hair going in front of my face my hair is longer in the front so it tends to fall in, in front of my face and so I want to pull it back some child look let me heads up I'm making these faces because my child is singing I'm gonna un <laughs> I'm gonna unmute these clips so you can hear what he's singing because when I tell you yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a Leo. One of y'all pointed it out. I wear my emotions on my face, baby. I can't hide it. So yeah, girl, I'm looking for big hair. That's what I got. I'm going to turn around to the side, to the back. And that is it, y'all. I'm going to show you clips of what my hair looks like later on that night. And yeah. Yeah, girl, my child is something else. So this is what my hair looks like. And normally I would not recommend piling on more products, especially gel on top of an old wash and go. But this worked. I have a lot more shrinkage, as you can see. But I was able to um, maintain this wash and go for another three days. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.